Welcome back to segment two of the SoCal Report, brought to you by Pechanga Resort and Casino. I'm Brad Free. Let's talk about a couple of big races that will be run on Saturday, and you have to start off with a horse that's going to be one to five. He's the best horse in the world. His name is Arrogate. Arrogate making his first start since the Dubai World Cup. He'll be running in race number nine, the grade two TVG San Diego handicap. It's not really a handicap, is it? So Arrogate was burdened with a mighty 126 pounds. Yeah, that's not going to slow him down. I've watched him train this week at, at Del Mar, and he looks as good as ever. His most recent start was an amazing performance in the Dubai World Cup as we take a look at the stretch run. It appeared that Arrogate lost all chance at the break in the Dubai World Cup. He did not get away well. He was shuffled back. He was far back early. This is one amazing racehorse, one of the best racehorses, horses that we've seen in a long, long time in California and even around the country. A terrific performance. That was Arrogate's seventh consecutive win, the Dubai World Cup. And we know that he's fast. We know that he can run a mile and a quarter in under two minutes. He did that in the Traverse last summer. But what he did in the Dubai World Cup was overcome trouble. Good horses will run fast, but great horses will run fast and overcome trouble. And that's exactly what Arrogate did. He's the one to five favorite. This is not the type of race that I'm interested in betting, but it should be a fun race to watch. This is the comeback prep race for Arrogate, whose next start after this weekend, assuming all goes well, will be in the Pacific Classic on August 19th, the grade one Pacific Classic. So looking forward to watching Arrogate run Saturday in the San Diego. It should be a fun race. As far as wagering value, you're on your own. I'm going to watch the race. If you want to play a multi-race wager, well, I guess that arrogates a single. If you like the single one to five shots, go for it. A little bit better race from a gambling perspective is earlier on the card on Saturday. And it's the grade two Eddie Reed, a mile and one eighth grass race for Colts and Geldings. It's open to either gender, but it's always uh, Colts and Geldings. And the favorite is number six, Ashley Loves Sugar. Ashley Love Sugar has emerged as the top middle to long distance grass horse in California. The division out here has been suspect for a while, and I think it really remains suspect. But Ashley Love Sugar, he shows up every time. He wins grade twos time and time again. His most recent start was May 28th in the Charles Whittingham. And as we look at the pink silks of Ashley Love Sugar, and jockey Gary Stevens looking for a seam, one off the rail. He finds a split and inches clear late to win by a half length. Now, who did he beat in the Whittingham? The answer is not much. He continues to win races, Ashley Love Sugar does. He's 10 for 22 in his career. It's pretty easy to knock the competition. I mean, he has not been running against great horses, and he doesn't face a great field on Saturday in the Eddie Reed. But the cool thing about Ashley Love Sugar is he's been around forever. Let's go back to 2013, when Ashley Love Sugar was a two-year-old making his career debut. Trainer Peter never wins with first-time starters, but watch Ashley Love Sugar on the outside. He doesn't win the race, but he might have had the pace setter not veered out or drifted out through the lane. Ashley Love Sugar at 40 to one on the outside, grinding away. He was placed first via disqualification. That was four years ago. Ashley Love Sugar, now six years old. He's a gelding, bred in California, a son of game plan. Career debut winner via DQ in his two-year-old debut four years ago, and now he has earned $1.2 million and the top distance turf horse in California. He'll have to beat a good horse by the name of Hunt. He'll be adding small uh, cheater blinkers on Saturday just to keep him focused through the stretch. Second start back off a layoff. I'm going to use Hunt and Ashley Love Sugar. I have nothing but respect for Ashley Love Sugar, but just not sure about the horses that he has defeated of late. So I'm going to take a shot also using Hunt. The three to one third choice on the morning line. And we'll find out if Ashley Love Sugar can win again. He probably will. There are other wagering opportunities on Saturday besides Arrogate in the San Diego and Ashley Love Sugar in the Eddie Reed. But for those, you'll have to check back at DRF.com for Brad Free's How to Play segment that I will be filing late Friday or early Saturday. This has been the SoCal Report, sponsored by Pachanga Resort and Casino. I'm Brad Free, and we'll see you next time.